Hi, I'm going to present the uncertainty propagation rule for addition and subtraction. So let's say you're going to be adding two numbers in data that you've collected in a lab. So uh, we'll call the sum x and each of the individual measurements a and b. Okay? And because it's lab measurements, uh, both a and b have uncertainty in them. And so uh, X, the calculation, will also have uncertainty in it. And there's a rule for how you propagate the uncertainty in a measured value to the uncertainty in a calculated value. And for addition and subtraction, the rule is that the uncertainty, so this symbol right here just means the uncertainty in the, uh, in the value X, is just the square root of the sum of the squares of the individual uncertainties. Okay, so S sub A is uncertainty in A, S subscript B is the uncertainty uh, in B. So I'm just going to go ahead and make up some numbers and I'm going to, uh, for A and B, and I'm going to calculate X and the uncertainty in X. So let's say that we have uh, A equal to 19 plus or minus 3, and we have B equal to 27 plus or minus 4, and I'm going to add them up. Okay, so I assume you could do that yourself already, and x is 46. But what about the plus or minus in this value x? Now, some people will just say add the uncertainties. That's a reasonable approximation. Um, but assuming that each of these uncertainties is uncorrelated, then that's actually not quite right. It's this rule right here that's, that's the, the proper method. So let's go ahead and take these numbers, throw them into this formula, and see how it works out. So. So uncertainty in A is 3, and uncertainty in B is 4. And of course, I made up these numbers to make the math easy for me. So I can do this one in my head. Uh, it equals 5. So that's the uncertainty in the calculated value. Okay. This also works for subtraction. You could have uh, you know, 5 addition subtraction and just, um, just add, add terms inside the square root, and you'll be fine. Thanks.